welcome back to my channel. This is Shake It Off with Angela, week 49. I say this every single week, but yes, I am still here. I am still surviving. I am, I am gaining weight, but I am putting an end to that today. So I would say, yeah, like the last month, like I'm not going to come on here and sugarcoat it for you guys. Like now I'm, I'm, I've been ranting all day. Can you guys tell? I've been ranting all day. Anyway, Snooki's going to go on the bed and just get a little comfortable with my otter box. By the way, do you guys know where I can get an otter box that is not like a poopy color? I have a navy blue otter box for my iPhone and I just want like purple, pink, gold, something good. I'm going to have to look on Amazon. But anyway, you guys, so I'm not going to sugarcoat this whole, um, oh, I've been trying to lose weight. Oh, I've been working really hard. Oh, I've been going to the gym because I've been there. I have been there. I have had weeks where I have busted my ass and lost, you know, a good seven pounds. I have gone to the gym every single day and I'm not going to sugarcoat it anymore. It is time to be truthful. It is time to be honest. I've gained weight. I know I've gained weight because I stepped on the scale today. I know that you guys know that I gain weight because you can see it. You can see it. I'm puffy. I've put on water weight. I've put on fat weight. I've put on sugar weight. I've put on all the weights and all the lands. And yes, I feel like everybody who has a weight issue or even like people who don't have weight issues, people who just gain, you know, that freshman 15 going back to college or people who, you know, gain all that weight in the winter. I mean, I'm in Wisconsin. When the temperature drops, we all feel like we need to put on 20 pounds to insulate ourselves, to make ourselves warm. Okay. So anyway, you guys, with that being said, I wrote down goals. Oh, look, I kissed it. Goals. Um, what I have been doing and what I need to change and what I'm going to change. So the first thing I have on here is track my food 100%. I started tracking my food again today. I know whatever I said last week, literally wash that out the window because I feel like I was on being honest with you guys, but not like 100% transparent. This is me being transparent here. So I haven't tracked food for a long time. At first I thought to myself, oh, I don't need to track food. I'm a healthy living lady. I love my fruits and vegetables and my proteins and I don't eat carbs and blah, 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 blah. No, I need to track. And not only do I need to just half-ass track, I need to track my food literally down to every single lick of the spoon, every single, you know, swipe of the knife. Um, I need to track everything so I can hold myself accountable. Um, and how I do that is on the MyFitnessPal app. So if you guys are on the MyFitnessPal app, and I do know a few of you guys who I am friends with, who watch my Shake It Off with Angela, and who are friends with me on the MyFitnessPal app, by the way, I'm AZ for Angela on there, if you guys see that I am not tracking on the MyFitnessPal app, say, Angela, have you tracked recently? Don't be shady about it. Most of you guys are not shady, although there was one person who definitely shaded me today on YouTube because you guys, I read all the comments and they're like, why are you telling this lady that it's okay that she has some lemon ginger cookies? Why are you telling this lady that she can treat herself with some ice cream? This B is fat as F and blah, 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 blah. Okay. That was a rude way of saying it to me. Like, I'm not going to listen to you if you say it that way to me. But constructive criticism, yes, I will listen to that. I will listen to that. It, it It's all in your approach, right? It's all in the way you present it to me. So that's one thing I'm going to do. Um, I have been, okay, the sugar and the carbs, the sugar and the carbs, the sugar and the carbs. A lot of you guys are on that keto diet. Um, everyone and their mothers seems to think it's working for them, says it's working for them. If you guys know, by the way, I'm going to go to the library um, probably tomorrow after work. If you guys know of any books that are good for like Cato for dummies or Cato for beginners, 
please let me know. I just want the basics, um, like how to do it, what to eat for that keto diet. I believe it's just cutting out like sugar and carbs, but I don't know. I don't know. I need to be educated on that because I really do want to try that. I feel like it's a lifestyle change, just like being like a vegetarian or a vegan is a lifestyle change. But I do want to try that. So the sugar and the carbs are literally what kill me. Um, I allow myself to have a carb or I allow, allow myself to have a sugar and it seems like they go hand in hand. So like if I allow myself a treat of a Tootsie Roll or you know a Charleston Chew, then I'm craving all the breads, all the donuts, like the sweet plus the breads. Um, and when I allow myself, you know, to have um, like a hamburger patty or like, well, let's just say chicken patty because I don't usually eat red meat. Um, when I put a bun on there and eat that, then I start craving the sweets. So I feel like the sugar and the carbs go hand in hand, which yes, I know that when like a diabetic consumes carbs, it turns into sugar in the body. So I do understand that. Um, so I'm going to completely sugar carbs no 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 so that i have on my list um also on my list i have keep a visual of your weight loss so i used to do this a long time ago when i did shake it off with angela i just took like this long long sheet and i would write the date my weigh-in date what i weighed how much i lost from the time before um and how much I've lost total. So I think I need to start doing that again, whether it be that way or I've seen people like go to the Dollar Tree and get like those um, like those stone pebbles and then they'll have two jars and they'll say, you know, like they'll decorate the first jar and say, this is how much weight I need to lose to be at my goal. So let's say I need to lose 50 pounds. So they'll put 50 pebbles in there and then each time they weigh themselves, um, they count, you know, how many pounds they lose and they take a pebble from one and put it in the other so they can visually see how much weight, you know, they have lost. So that's going to be, I feel, something for me so I can, you know, walk into my home, whether it be I put it, you know, by the kitchen or here in the filming room or even in my bedroom, um, you know, so I can visually see this is what I need to do. This is the amount that I need to lose and I need to, you know, switch it over to this side, to this jar. So that's something that I want to do. Um, I also want to buy a yoga mat. I've been talking to one of my friends, Logan, and he um, is like a Zumba instructor and just, you know, does all these like healthy, healthy things. I want one of the thicker ones and I just want to stretch you guys. And I know this sounds like you can take this one way or the other. I want to be more limber. You know what I mean? I like, I, I've lost enough weight where I can like bend down easily and like tie a kid's shoe or, you know, get up from the chair and not be like, ooh, you know, type of thing. But I just want to be more limber. I want to be able to sit down on the floor and stretch and get my body maybe into positions that I've never known about before. <laughs> sounds so weird but you know what I mean I just want to be more like flexible and stuff so mm. and I mean I've tried yoga I've tried the yoga on um, YouTube and stuff and I couldn't do half that stuff like it was way 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 too hard for me I just couldn't do it so um, you know if you guys have any different like stretching techniques or stretching videos that you guys see on YouTube or whatever, please point me in that direction. Leave, leave, leave comments below. I cannot stress to you guys enough, if you are watching this, please help me and please comment down below. And like if I ask for suggestions or whatever, please do it. I know you guys sometimes watch these videos and are like, oh, I'm not gonna comment or oh, I'm gonna thumbs down this video or you know, whatever. But truly, please help a sister. So that's pretty much what I have um, on my list right now of things to do for this week. Next week, I'm going to be adding, um, I mean, I'm not going to say, 
oh, I plan on going to the gym three times this week and blah, blah, blah. Because then when it doesn't happen, I feel like complete shit. I feel like I've let myself down. I feel like the next week when I report to you guys, I have to, you know, say that it didn't happen or whatever. And then I just feel like a failure. And I'm really sick and tired of feeling like I am a failure. So we're starting anew. Today is the day. Week 50 is next week and expect a good one. I hope to see you guys there. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys will get notified. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye everyone.